A coming soon page for WooCommerce hides your online store while you're under construction. But instead of showing an error page, how about we create a coming soon page that'll generate some excitement about your upcoming store. Plus with the right coming soon page features, you can generate leads from day one. In this video, I'll show you how to create a WooCommerce coming soon page easily with Seedprod. Everyone here at Seedprod loves having you part of the community, so please hit subscribe and the bell to be notified of future videos. Okay, let's jump in and get started. All right, so let's head over to our WordPress dashboard. Now, I just have a basic installation of WordPress and I have my front page for WordPress and then I also have WooCommerce and installed. But I do have the shop page with some fake products set up as well. None of this really matters for our case because we're going to be setting up the coming soon page, which is kind of separate from WooCommerce or the other pages in our WordPress website. But the first thing we want to do is head over to seedprod.com or you can click the link in the description below. And in the top right here, you'll see the get seed prod button. Let's go ahead and click on that. And you're going to be presented with some pricing options. In this video, I'm going to be using the paid version of seedprod because it has such amazing features. After you have an account with seedprod set up, we want to come back and click on the log in link here. Great. So here on the left hand side, we want to put in our email address and the password that you use to sign up for your seed prod account. After you've done that, let's go ahead and click on login. Great. If that went well, you should see the dashboard area in your account. And we want to go to the downloads tab here. It's the second tab from the top left. Go ahead and click on that. And then we have the big button here to download landing page pro. This is the pro plugin of seed prod that we want to get. So let's go ahead and download this on the bottom left hand side here. We have our license key. We also need this. So you can click the little icon here to copy that. And we're all done with this window so we can close this. Next, let's come over on the left hand side back in your WordPress dashboard and we have plugins here and we want to go to add new here. We'll come to the top where it says upload plugin. Let's go ahead and click on this. And next you can go ahead and click on the choose file button and we're going to select that zip file that we just downloaded from the seed prod download page. If you're using the same browser as I am down here, you can see the zip file. We can take this and actually just drag and drop it right here and click install. Now on the left hand side, let's go ahead and activate the plugin and it's going to ask for your license key. Let's go ahead and paste that right in here and click verify key. If everything was successful. You should see a green success message up here in the top right hand corner. Now, if you're using the same browser as I am, you can close this tab on the bottom by clicking the X and now we can go over and create a new page under seed prod. So we have seed prod and pages. Let's click on pages. And now seed prod has these different modes that you can look through we have coming soon mode this is what we're going to be looking at today we also have maintenance mode login page and 404 page down below you can create standalone landing pages for any of your products or services any type of landing page that you want to create we're not going to be doing this today but we have plenty of videos on the youtube channel if you want to check those out next let's go ahead and click on set up a coming soon page and seedprod is going to ask you to choose a new page template now you can go in and create one from scratch using the blank template i highly recommend that you check out our professionally designed and mobile friendly templates first because it can really give you a good head start and you may have noticed up top here that we have filters and by default it's selected the coming soon page filter and that's because we selected the coming soon page mode in the previous page if you click all you can see all of the templates that come with seed prod again we want to use the coming soon one so we'll click on this so next you can come down the page and find one that you like to give you a head start the closest one that comes to the page or the idea of a page that you have in your mind i'm going to go with the fashion coming soon here and we can go ahead and click on the check mark here okay there we go we just imported our template into seed prod so here we can see on the right hand side we have the page builder layout and we have these colored outlines so we have the section which is purple we have the block which is orange and we have rows which are blue so each element on the page is an actual block in seed prod that we can add and modify completely however we wish so let's take a look at just how easy this is let's say we want to add a button to our page on the left hand side under the standard blocks we have a button block that we can just click on and just drag that over into our page and there we go now we have the options above here to modify it so we have the block setting you'll see on the left hand side here that all of the options have changed so for example we have the button text so we can change what this says there you go, it's just an example. Pre-order our new 2022 dress lineup. Whatever you want this to say, and then you could maybe send this to another landing page or another website, social media, wherever you want this to go. For example, I'm going to remove this button so you can click the trash can and delete this to confirm it. So let's start at the top here. We have a countdown. So let's click on the block settings for this. We can have the current countdown. So we just put in a date and then this will count down from how much time is left. There we go. I just selected a date a couple of weeks from now. You can also select the end time from the drop down. So any hour of the day and the time zone that you're in as well, you can select that. We also have alignment 
options, uh, the size that you want it to be. So you get a bit large, medium, or small. Now, after the time is counted down to zero, you can take an action on what you want to have happen. So you can show a message or you can have it redirect to another page. By this point though, you most likely will have your coming soon page deactivated and you'll be showing your shop or store online. You can also easily change the look by clicking on templates. And we have some pre-made looks here. So for example, here's some circles, some filled color circles, the squares or nothing. Maybe I'll go with these circles here. Under the advanced tab, we have some styles, topography, spacing, and device visibility. So for example, if you didn't want this to be shown on mobile, you can say hide on mobile. And then when we look at the preview for the mobile version, it's very faint, but this is actually grayed out. And that means that it will not be shown on mobile devices. So if we go back to desktop, you can see that that white is a little bit brighter and that means that it will show on desktop. Next, we have the text here. So you can update that on the left hand side if you like to say whatever you wish. And we have some text here. I'm just going to change this. If I change this to be the first to know, sign up to our newsletter below. So let's go back to our blocks here. And the two things that we highly recommend that you add to your coming soon pages is a countdown timer and an opt-in form. So let's go ahead and under advance, we have the opt-in form just drop this right under my text here. Now, this is a great way to start collecting leads on your coming soon page. So you can generate hype on social media about your services or products that you're about to offer and have people come and join your newsletter on your coming soon page. So they get notified on the day of your launch. That way you can send out an email and get instant traffic to your website. Let's go ahead and click on the block settings here. They have the option to hide the name. So you could just collect the email address. So I'll do that. If you like, you can have them opt in the confirmation or not. So they can click the little checkbox there. You have a size here that you can change so you can make it larger. I think I'll do that. The alignment. And then down here we have the submit button. So you can change the text. I'll change this to sign up and you can change the width if you like and the background color. I'm going to leave this because we do have global settings that I'm going to show you in a moment. So instead of changing the color on the block level, I'm going to do that on the global level. And of course we have the success action. So you can show a message. Thank you. We'll be in touch soon after they sign up or you can change this to whatever custom message you wish. We also have a redirect as well. So you could send them to a thank you page or some other type of website or page. Same as the countdown, we have the templates. So you can change the look of this. So if you wanted, for example, a dark look, which actually looks kind of nice with the uh, dark purple, you have different types of buttons here. So I'm going to go ahead, I think with the transparent, you can just slightly see through that. All right, below this, we have our social media blocks. So we can click on here and you can modify these. So you can just click on one, say Facebook. If you don't want Facebook and you want SoundCloud, you can just select SoundCloud. The icon will update and then you can just come under the settings here. We have the cog wheel and you can change the URL to your social media page. And of course you can add more than four if you want to add that or delete some of these. We also have the style down here so you can change from this to stack. I'm going to put that back to default, the size, so you can make them a little larger if you like, the alignment. We also have templates as well, so you can change how these look. Maybe you want them all gray or to have a stack look with the rounded, whatever works for your design. I think I'll go with this. And of course, under advanced, we have way more options for styles, padding, space, shadows, whatever you wish, the spacing and the device visibility for mobile or desktop viewing. Okay, great. You may have noticed this big background in the back. Let's go down to the bottom left. These are our global settings. And here we can change our global fonts, colors, the background. And if you know CSS, you can add some custom CSS here as well. So first off, let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the fonts. And by default, we're using Roboto for the header and Roboto for the body text. You can change these to whatever you wish. So for example, here's Rancho. And you can see that that has updated this font. Here, I'll pick a random one for the body text. And you can see it is this handwritten effect here. So that doesn't look that great. It's kind of hard to read. So if you need help picking fonts, we have font themes here, this button you can click on. And these are some pairings that are pre-made that you can just instantly click on one and your page will update based on which pairing you selected. Let's go ahead and minimize this and look at the colors. So we have the header color, the text, buttons, and links. So for example, we have our header, which is white. If we change that to red, you can see that that pops out. We have the text, so we could change this to another color. We have our button, we make this another color. And then our background, which we're not using because we have a background image that we'll get to in a moment. Again, if you need help picking colors, you can click on color palettes. And here we have some options that you can select from. So for example, maybe you want something totally different. Let's go ahead with this kind of greenish color. And you can see that our text was updated. We still have the white and we have the button that changed here as well. And then we can minimize this, go to background. And you can change this picture. So for example, if you don't want a background at all with an image, you can delete that. And now we just have a solid color. You can also up top here, change the background style from solid, which we're using now, as you can see. 
You can change that to a gradient if you wish. So you could have maybe a linear gradient that goes from one color to another, which looks really good if you get the right colors. Let's go back to solid and I'll just leave that as a default background. And I'm going to go ahead and use a stock image. If you have your own image, you can upload that here to your media library. I'm going to use the built in stock images for seed prod here. I'm just going to type in fashion and hit search. And then I'm just going to find an image that works. So this has some similar colors in it that might look good. And then if we come down underneath the image, we have background position. So you could change this to full screen contain if you want to show the whole picture, but it, obviously it's cut off there. We have 100% width. We have 100% bottom. And that looks pretty cool to me. I think I like that, but we'd have to update the colors here. So let's go ahead and do that. We can click on this block and I'm going to change the colors here locally instead of on the global. So this will override the colors in the global level. So let's go under advanced for this block color. I'm just going to change this back to white and the same as the text. So again, you could just change it in global settings. I just wanted to show you how you could do this on the block level as well. So there we go. We changed everything kind of back to white. So that looks pretty good. And now that we have an email opt-in form, I just want to show you, if you look at the top left here, once we've completed our page, let's go ahead and click on connect. And here we can see a list of popular third-party email marketing services. So for example, if you use constant contact to manage your email list, you can go ahead and look at constant contact here and click on connect. So if you already have an account with constant contact, make sure you do. You can go ahead and connect that account through seed Pride by clicking connect new account and then pasting in the API key. The API key is provided by constant contact or any of these third party email marketing services. They usually have really straightforward documentation on how to find that in your user account. And if you need help, please contact their support to get that API key. After you have the API key, you can just paste it right in here and click on connect and you're all set to go. And then lastly, we have our third tab here called page settings and we have general access control, SEO and scripts under general. This is just basic options for your page title, page status, the seed prod link. So you can show a powered by seed prod link in the bottom right hand corner of your page. And if you like, you can join our affiliate program to get a 20% commission on all sales generated from that link. Here you can enable or disable isolation mode, and this will help prevent conflicts with your theme or other plugins. If you're using Facebook features, you can paste in your Facebook app ID here. And here, if you want to enable a redirect mode to go to a different URL, this is a temporary redirect with a 302 status. At the bottom, you can choose a new template. This, however, will delete your current template. So be careful if you want to use or change it that you will lose your previous work. Next, we have access control. So you have a bunch of different options here, and this is used for developers or if you want to share your store or WordPress website with client or with a friend or whoever you wish, this will actually allow them to bypass the coming soon page. Everyone else when they visit your website will see the coming soon page, but you could put in a secret URL here. So you could call it secret and then send people this full URL. And this is a great feature when you're working with clients so you can show them that you're building a website for them and how it looks and keep them updated on the look of it so that they can look beyond the coming soon page. There's a bypass URL expiry. There's access by IP. So you can ask them for their IP address and paste that in here. You can also enable access by role. So for example, say you only want to have shop managers have access. You can go ahead and select that and you can include or exclude URLs as well with the bypass URL. Next, we have SEO on the left hand side here. So you can just add your SEO title, description, a fave icon, your social media thumbnail. And if you want to enable no index, so a lot of people set up their coming soon page and this will prevent Google, Bing or other search engines from indexing your coming soon page. And then lastly, we have scripts here. So if you need to add any header scripts, body scripts or footer scripts, you can add those here as well. And then let's click on the down arrow here and click on publish. It says your page has been published. Let's go ahead and close this. And I'm going to click the little X up here on the top right. We have one more step. If we come to our front page, we can still see that our website is active and not the coming soon page. Under the coming soon page mode, we have a little toggle here and it says that it's inactive. We need to click this to active so that we'll see the coming soon mode. And there we go. You'll see this banner up top that says coming soon mode is active. And now if we come back to our front page and refresh, you'll see that this banner is active here as well. Now still, you're not seeing the coming soon mode. And the reason is, you're logged into your admin area. So I'm going to go ahead and open this in a new browser in incognito. And there we go. We can see our finished coming soon page. And there we go. We can see our finished coming soon page that we created with seed prod. We did that quick and easily with the drag and drop page builder. Now that you know how to create a WooCommerce coming soon page, check out this video on how to build a Netflix landing page clone with WordPress to really help expand your seed prod skills for creating fantastic looking landing pages. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.